Welcome to Weld.com. We're doing a series of pipe welding videos. This series <clears throat> with the two inch schedule 80 is going to be 7018 low hydrogen fills and caps. We've already done the TIG roots in these, so we're gonna use these coupons to do our fills and caps. This particular video is going to be kind of getting started, confidence builder. We're gonna weld this in quarters. We're gonna stop, clean it come up to the top. We're just gonna roll, it's kinda like rolling this one out. This will be the easy one to, to get you started, build your confidence. From there, we'll do 5G, start at the bottom, go to the top. We'll do 2G, wrap around, we'll do a 6G, okay? Uh, 7018, gonna run off a Rebel 285. I'm gonna run 75 amps. Couple cool products here that, uh, you know, to prep the inside of the pot before we did the TIG root, roll cone. Poly-V flap disc, got an encapsulated wire wheel. Uh, these things are kind of cool. It keep the, keep the wires concentrated, keeps them from spitting, and it keeps them from flaring out. Cool product. We can get by with doing this with probably a file and a wire brush. We might even be able to get it done with a wire brush alone, so. Uh, let's get to it. A couple of different ways here that we could start out when we first strike the arc. We could strike the arc low in the groove and move up and initiate our bead, or we could strike the arc and draw it down a little bit like we do on any restart and come up to the top. Very important that I maintain reference to the center of the pipe. What I don't want to do is strike an arc with the center of the pipe and never make a transition and come up here. I'm pushing the, I'm fingernailing, I'm pushing the rod really bad. Always got to make that transition. And it goes quickly on small diameter pipe. So the first one I want to do correct, I want to reference the center of the pipe and make this transition. Uh, the second time we strike up, the second rod, we'll probably just do this and do it wrong and see what happens, see if it kind of blows out and gets unstable and gets weird. Whew, 75 amps. Might be a little hot. Had to stay moving with a short arc into the sides of the pipe bevel. I want to leave room for the cap. Whew. Might be a skosh full. I like to have these just a little bit under, so I may end up turning this down. I'm gonna run this second rod, and <clears throat> I'm gonna start out correct as far as rod angle, but I'm never gonna change it. I'm gonna get up here. What I expect to happen is it's gonna fingernail or blow out the bottom of this rod. <coughs> Make a mess, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I won't be directing my arc into the groove, I can tell you that. Okay, so on that one, I restarted the arc, blended into what we had before for the, this is just a fill pass, but I never changed the rod angle. So I started like this, I came up here on top and my arc was like blowing out of the bottom of the rod and it made it real hard for me to see what was going on in the weld pool and it also just got real wide. So essentially I lost control of the weld pool. Did it weld? Yeah. It just came up and got real well, uh, real wide and it's flat. You know, I don't, I just don't care for it myself. Oh, uh, the end of the rod, it got, got a big old knob in here. This is where I start suspecting things like porosity. I, you know, I just watched the, the arc itself and it's just like vaporizing all this flux and it's blowing out the bottom and it made a big old, big old nobulous wrecks on the end. Crusty. 
I, I just, you know, I just see problems. So again, always reference the center of the pipe and make that transition. And on small pipe, seems like right when you strike the arc, as soon as you start moving, you're starting the transition. You gotta make that move. All right, let's carry on here. To continue on, I personally like to strike the arc up here, let it get going, come down, and weld back through my arc strike. Let us continue on. I have turned my machine down to 70 amps. I know some of you may think that's a little low, but don't be alarmed. I don't want to overfill this. I don't want to get this. I don't want this to get away from me. It filled up a, a bunch. Again, this is just two inch schedule 80. So again, I want to strike. I want to strike the arc slightly above, and then I want to come in here and commence my cap run. Okay, I don't, I'm not one to weave outside of the bevel. So I wanna watch the edges and I also wanna watch the crown. Hopefully I don't get it too tall. So well, that was the first beat of the cap. <clears throat> I'm gonna rotate this down. I will strike the arc slightly above this, come in and blend into it, and take off again, come up to the top of the pot. I don't think I wanna run the, the entire thing. You'll get the gist of how to do this. Again, this is a confidence builder, of just rotating and staying up here and getting used to being on pot. All right, a couple things. That's the cap. Uh, my goal, you know, as far as the, the edges, I don't want any undercut. Y'all will ding me crazy on that. I'm trying to not get it above an eighth of an inch high. Um, you know, that's the underfilling. It helps when you're in a vertical position, especially coming up on the, on the sides and off the bottom. Uh, one thing that I do, some of you may notice that I will take a rod, I'll put it in the electrode holder and I'll bend it 90 degrees. And that allows me to kind of get into a lot of different positions, but more importantly, it helps me do this. When I strike an arc and I'm making that transition, when I come up here on the very top of the pipe, a lot of times I like to be pointing the rod like backwards, almost like I'm dragging it because I want that slag to be back away from me, away from my direction to travel. So it's real easy, it's, it's real easy for me to just rotate my hand like that. Okay, so it's just one of those personal things. Try what work, works comfortable for you. Get confident, practice, practice. Appreciate your subscriptions to weld.com. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? Action. You said that. I was already going. What do you want now? I thought we were going <laughs> to Oh my God. You're going to beep this out.